Hey Moon Poplers, it's Heather. This video is all about can you change the locks on your rental apartment? If that's a question that's been on your mind, keep watching this video. For some reason or another, you've clicked on this video because you're considering changing the locks on your rental apartment. Well, how does the process work? After all, it's not like asking the landlord if you can put up a nice pretty picture. You're wanting to change the locks on an entire property. It's a pretty big deal. And if you are wondering whether or not you can change the locks on a rental apartment, well, you've come to the right place. In this guide, I'm gonna be covering everything about locks on your rental property. The big question, can you actually change the locks in your rental apartment? The short answer is yes, you can. In most cases, renters are allowed to change the locks on a rental property unless it states in the tenancy agreement that you can't. The rental contract is a key, no pun intended, component of the process of renting an apartment and everything in there should state the things that you can and can't do. So before you go about changing the locks on the property, just make sure that you've read the rental contract through thoroughly. So why would you change the locks? The primary reason is of course usage. If it is a rental property, you're probably not the first person to live there. So you might be thinking that maybe other people have keys to get into your new rental property. Even though average tenancies are rising and people are wanting to stay in their rental properties a little bit longer, the turnover is pretty fast in rental properties more than it is in owned homes. And while it's highly unlikely that the previous renters may have purposely kept a copy of the keys, you might feel more comfortable knowing who has a copy of the keys, which should be you and the landlord. So how do you go about changing the locks? Even if there's nothing in your tenancy agreement that states that you can't change the locks, you should still run it by your landlord just in case. This shows courtesy and it lets the landlord know your intentions and the reasons why, which will improve the relationship overall. And in some cases, if you're lucky, the landlord might even front the costs to change the locks, although they are not obliged to do this. You should also tell the landlord how many copies you're willing to make and also make sure that you provide one for them and the property manager. It's important that the landlord keeps a copy of the keys in case of an emergency in the home that they need to attend to in case you're not around. But what if the locks are broken? Should the locks be broken and it is not your fault, the landlord should take responsibility for paying to replace them. Such a scenario would be the same as any other reasonable repairs around the home during your tenancy. If there are any issues with the locks, you need to contact the landlord or the managing agent immediately, especially if the doors aren't properly closing. And this issue should be addressed to pretty quickly, as of course, it is a safety concern if the locks aren't working. And that is everything you need to know about changing the locks on your rental property. So hopefully you've got a bit more of a peace of mind knowing that you can change the locks. Just please make sure that you double check the tenancy agreement and make sure that you tell the landlord if you are planning on changing the locks. And if you're watching this video and you're thinking about moving into a new rental property, make sure that you download the free Movable app. There are thousands of properties on there in London and Manchester for you to view. And one of the awesome features about them, there are free video walkthroughs so you can see the property in real time. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Movable YouTube channel because we're going to be bringing you so many more awesome and useful videos. Thanks so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!